All right, this will be a quick one, but a fun one. So essentially, this is a DICOM viewer. DICOM is Digital Imaging and Communications in Medicine. Um, it's basically a way to communicate uh, digital data between systems. And in our case, you know, if we're just studying uh, the body, there's a lot of really interesting ways to do that. One of those is uh, like a cross section here. So you can go through here and you can scroll through the cross section of the body. So you're going to see as we go uh, higher or lower, you're going to see the scapula kick in and the ribs kick in and you'll be able to uh, identify and look at, you know, the volumes of the muscles in a cross section. And you can even middle mouse drag and like increase or decrease the contrast uh, in here. Uh, even cooler than that is you can go through here and you can do uh, 3D view and you can just go and you can make this bigger if you want. And you can rotate your camera around and then as you middle mouse drag, you're able to go through uh, the body here. So you're going to go all the way back out. So here we are through the bones and then the muscles and then all the way out here until uh, you get to the shirt, you know, so the shirt and then the skin. And then if you stop in the bones and muscles, you can go in here and you can uh, kind of go through and do a, a mini dissection uh, through the body with this data. Um, of course, you need a viewer. So this is a DICOM viewer. This is the Radiant DICOM viewer. And, you know, you can also look for uh, resources to download stuff. So here's one. I'll go ahead and post links in the description where you can find some of these things. We can, you know, download uh, these files. And then all you'll need to do is go through here and we'll just go ahead and open one. You know, for instance, you know, I've got this, uh, these files downloaded in here. So I can pick one and there's multiple things in here, um, but I can go one directory higher and I can have all of those show up. All I got to do is choose this folder and then say select the folder to go ahead and load all these up. And then over here, I can scroll through uh, the different data sets. So there's going to be some that are going to be uh, like this, we can go through and again, you can change the contrast on like this x-ray view. And this is useful too, you know, you can kind of see the bones in there and the volumes as well. Uh, there's going to be different, in this particular one, there's different areas that are being scanned. But you can see, okay, here's the skin and the eyeball placement and the skull and all that good stuff. And then there's multiple ones in here as well. If you go up here and again, you can go through here and you can kind of go through the cross section, which is neat. And then you can go hop back in here to the 3D view. And, you know, and here's, here's even bigger uh, cross-section of uh, the body here. So you can go through here and you can kind of go into the body. I can go all the way out to the skin again. And then again, just dive in uh, to the body here. You can even go through and you can turn off the shading. So we can go through here. We can turn off the shading here. You get it even uh, possibly an even better look at what's going on in there. You can go through. Let's go ahead and turn shading back on. There's a couple different viewing modes. You can go through here and you can choose the airways. So here's the airways of the body and then the bones and the skin uh, highlighted uh, in different ways and uh, in all sorts of cool ways to kind of visualize this data. Uh, but again, you can use middle mouse button to kind of go through the different layers. Uh, we'll go back to the, the default here. We'll kind of dial this in. Uh, you can even go in here and measure. So you can click here and you can list, you know, put little measurements in here of uh, how big these things are. You can go through here, you can use the uh, scalpel here to kind of slice away areas. So we can go through here and you can say, uh, cut the inside of here. And then as we rotate around and then do our middle mouse drag, you're gonna see now we can see a uh, cross section from where we, we did our scalpel here. Restore volume, we're kind of back where we started. So again, there's, there's like skulls you can look at and legs and bodies and you can go all the way through the different layers and you can see the attachments and the tendons and the bundles of nerves and all that good stuff there. So a lot of really, really interesting things you can see in here. Uh, another thing you can do is you can go in here and you can save an image. So you don't even need to, you know, do a screenshot or anything. It'll literally just save an image um, on your desktop. So if I double click this, you'll see here's the image that's saved. You can go in there and you can you know, draw on that in your image program. You can do 3D snapshots. You can toggle your annotations off. These are just navigation, slicing we already talked about, and then the different views here. Um, you know, and it's super fast. You know, I don't have any issues with the performance or anything like that. So again, just another really cool way to kind of see, you know, this data kind of put together in a way you can go through and you can kind of investigate it. Uh, and, and also on real volumes. And let's go down here to one of these um, with the heads. So here's like a head scan. We'll go through here in a 3D. And you can see, again, as we kind of dial in, and dial out, let's go make this a little bit bigger. You can still see the ghosting of, you know, the actual skin over the skull. So you can kind of see how thick the skin is on the skull, where the eyeballs are all placed. And of course, where the muscles uh, attach to the bones and the cartilage and all that good stuff. So uh, a lot of really, really cool information in here. And like I said, I'll post in the description places where you can get this data and kind of play around with it. Again, I'm using the Radiant DICOM viewer, but might be an easy, quick, easy way to kind of view 
this type of thing on an actual body uh, with different body types as opposed to you know always just having the crochet models that you have available you can kind of go in here and see it uh, for real in a different way